even know where we're going. Yeah. We are going to Hampton Court Palace. This is enormous. What are you most excited about seeing? I want to see the face. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Hampton Court Palace was built for King Henry VIII's chief minister, Cardinal Wolsey. But when the cardinal fell out of favor, he gave the palace back to the king. You probably remember who Henry VIII was. He's the one who had six different wives, of whom he divorced two and beheaded two others. We hadn't gotten far when we saw this souvenir penny machine. Oh, there you go, Fat Henry. <laughs> okay. And obviously, we had to make one. Well, that was already quite fun. That was. We just got here and it was fun. Getting our Henry VIII coin. <laughs> <laughs> We're easily amused sometimes. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> On the way to pick up our audio guides, we made the acquaintance of several castle residents. Can you spare me a coin, good master? Sorry, no. All too soon, it was time to say goodbye. Our audio guides were over there, waiting for us. Hello. Hello. How many are we looking for? Uh, two, I think. Two, yeah. Both in English? Yes, please. Hmm. In the main courtyard, you want to start with the zero and the green pin for the introduction. And then do you have a map on the inside? Uh, we do. Perfect. So on the back, you just want to type one of the numbers in, uh, press okay. play, and that will take you to the different sections. Oh, thank you. Have a good time. Our first stop was the Great Hall, the scale of which was simply stunning. We could have spent, and indeed did spend, a lot of time just here. There were so many things to see. Stained glass windows, faces painted high above us, and, although Henry had ordered all carvings related to Anne Boleyn to be removed, they missed this one. The H and the A are entwined. Next, we found ourselves taking a break at conveniently placed tables, playing Tudor-era games, uh -oh. including fox and geese. I'm gonna go that way. <laughs> oh, argh! That fox is smarter than my geese. <laughs> well, that's a little frustrating. And Nine Men's Morris. Right, that's what I was wondering. Although we think we were doing it wrong. At this point in the game, it's like we're just like moving stuff back and forth. I said it's like the point you get in solitaire when you just feel like cheating. That's where I am <laughs> with this game. <laughs> we went back to wandering the halls, taking in this throne room, this ceiling, and plenty of other things. It wasn't long before we found ourselves in another salon with invitingly placed card tables and elegantly dressed mannequins. And although we spent another long while playing Brag, we're not going to make you watch it. Congratulations, <laughs> that was a round of Brag. Where do you want to go? Chocolate kitchen. Mm. Chocolate room, chocolate kitchen, opposite way. There was nothing in the chocolate room, and disappointingly, there wasn't much in the chocolate kitchen either. Just a film showing what it would have been. Kind of chocolate kitchens. Yeah. Oh. I'm sadly disappointed in the chocolate kitchens. I thought it was going to be like kind of a recreation of the authentic things they use, or maybe even like a sample room of chocolates maybe that they're making on, you know, at the place now or something. But no, 
It was a, basically a bare room. Yeah. One room had some of the dishware in it saying chocolate was a valuable treat or whatever, and then the other one was just like a <laughs> like a projector showing what equipment would have looked like in that spot. <laughs> projected on the wall above where there wasn't anything. Oh well. On to a series of courtyards, including the Tudor Garden, and this one, with a 24-hour clock. Then Queen Elizabeth's Kitchen, now a cafe, King Henry's Wine Cellars, and last but not least... The peacock Room. At last we had arrived at the maze, with a hedge so tall that even I could not see over the top of it. Cassini took the lead. Do you feel confused and lost? Well, not really. So far, there's only one way to go. This would soon change. Which way? This one. Okay. Luckily, Cassini made the tough decision which way to go, although it was wrong. Uh, eek! Dead end. <laughs> so, oh, what do you think? Oh my yeah. gosh. We tried getting a higher perspective. No! Stop! Back! Oh! Unbelievable. Yeah, I'll wait for you back in the last junction. It takes people an average of 20 minutes to find the center. We were trying to beat that. So far we've had, what, two or three dead ends? So far, we haven't run into anyone else. So that's a good start. Ooh, we're coming to more forks. I'd say that way's gonna be a dead end, though. Maybe not. I don't know. Hmm. Which way should we go? Try the right fork? Yeah. Alright. I'll try the left fork. We decided to split up and hope that we didn't get separated permanently. Ooh. <clears throat> Mine too. Mine too? Yeah. We called progress reports over the hedge. I think I'm going to be there first. Four. Me too. Okay, I'm taking the left fork, my fork. Oh. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Which way does yours go? That way still? Okay, never mind. That's funny because there's a right fork paralleling the other path. They're actually in here. Huh. Not sure what the center is supposed to look like. So how do we know when we've gotten there? Oh. Way out. This is like the shortcut. Oh. I feel like we may be back at the beginning. Oh no. Oh well, hold on. Welcome to the center. Yeah. High five. Did you try to outsmart the maze? Oops. Yes, we had made it. Amazing, even ourselves. Now there wasn't much to do, except pose with the weird window framey thing, and turn around. Ew. We made it through the maze! Alright, on a scale of 1 to 10 puzzleosity, how much would you give this maze? Probably about an 8 puzzleosity. <laughs> I had enough dead ends and stuff to kind of make you go, mm. And but it was fun. <clears throat> Would you recommend this maze to others? Yeah, it was fun. There was much more to see, but most of it involved us listening to our audio guides, watching projected wall displays, and this armory. <sighs> we also saw the fluffy red velvet toilet seat in the William III apartments, a hall of statues, and finally, the royal kitchen. Our last stop of the day. Big enough kitchen for a castle. This is for this was King Henry's kitchen. Making some pies. Yeah, this, it seems very small. They'd have to have been busy all the time. Is this already the end? I think there must be more. Maybe this is all kitchens. Oh, here we go. Okay. If we've been listening to our audio guide, we would know. But we didn't have time. The palace was closing any minute. We had to hurry. 
Of Israel. Yeah. To speed things up, I listened to the audio guide while we walked and relayed relevant tidbits to Cassini. Henry's so rich and powerful that he and his court ate a diet of around 75% meat. Whoa. Some even think they suffered from scurvy. Then we handed our audio guides back in and left. It's just a normal size cut until... <laughs> Shall we do a Henry the Eighth? Henry, show us you that. Is it Fat Henry or the hey, Young Henry? No, I think it's Fat Henry. Fat Henry. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh no, I have to go all the way around again. <laughs> We're easily amused sometimes. Oh uh, yeah. This is why you watch this, right? <laughs> Except we don't actually have any viewers. Oh, Thank nice. you for the five of you out there who <laughs> watch every watch. time That's and comment and, and tell us something what you think. Big thumbs up to my sister. Thank you, Lori. I know you're one of them. Bet you're another one. Maybe they're just drunk. Or maybe they just got a drink from the fountain. Fox and geese. Your first ever game of fox and geese. Probably first and last, mm. truthfully. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like it's rigged in the favor of the fox. I do too. It's like, mm. No entry and no exit. Okay. So, basically, you hit the end of the line and you can't get out over here. It's hard for me to wrap my mind around the fact that this was an actual palace and these hallways where we're courtiers walk through. And or Henry himself Henry, used to walk. Yeah, exactly. This doesn't feel real. Something not surreal, but just unreal. Yeah, how does it feel to be in the center of the maze? It, it's okay. How does it feel to be in the center of the maze? Triumphant. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, this thing was just talking about Cardinal Wolsey, so I thought it would be a good time to mention that this entire castle was a gift of Cardinal Wolsey to the king, Henry VIII. Uh, I think it was highly suggested that he to do that. Yeah, out <laughs> Make amends. Over yeah. Catherine of Aragon for the fact that Wolsey couldn't get the divorce that. Oh, was that him. why he was mad? Yep. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, I've been rubbing them and Another smelling my fingers. Yeah. Mum's the word reference. 